to improve the outcomes for our patients, enhance the lives of people in Singapore and beyond. The story of MOHT started with that purpose. Singapore has an excellent healthcare system and our healthcare outcomes are very good. Yet we do know that we have to reshape our healthcare system. Singapore's demographics is really rapidly ageing. How we evolve to meet these changing healthcare needs is really critical. Health and well-being goes beyond doctors and healthcare institutions. There is a very important role that the environment and the community plays as well. We need an agency to see how we can actually transform healthcare. Getting involved with MOHT is enabling us to employ new strategies, new technologies to try and address some of these issues. When MOHT was set up in 2018, we only had uh, one employee, that was me. <laughs> Soon after that, we quickly brought on several other colleagues who are very talented, coming in from many diverse backgrounds and fields, both in the public and private sector. The name itself, Transformation, uh, I think speaks a lot about its role. It does fill a gap. MOHG plays a very important role to bridge between policy making as well as the health system and also getting the right collaborators to work closely with MOHG. I think MOHG's willingness to work with partners, both public and private, is really something admirable. Like the ongoing digital phenotyping project we have, we are working quite closely with Fitbit uh, on the collaboration. It's like a playground that is full of creative energy, fosters ideas to be bounced, jigsaw puzzles to be put together, and building blocks to form bridges. We were also very keen to try to apply the advances in data science, digital technologies, and in medicine to accelerate the pace and the scale of healthcare transformation. Is there any way that we can make changes by adopting such kind of new technology so that we can actually enhance and do better. We focused on three main things. First, working with stakeholders to define a clear set of collective goals and challenges that we face. Secondly, partnering strategically with health players in the ecosystem to address those challenges. And thirdly, to build critical enablers to facilitate and to expand the scaling up of initiatives. Initiating any new program is difficult as it is. We need a authentic, passionate and enthusiastic team. MOHT has exuded this culture. The MOHT has brought together a very good uh, team of young, dynamic officers who are able to engage the ground, who have their heart in the right places, full of passion and a drive to achieve what they set out to do. The MOHT team really has the right people, the right mindset, with the right passion to transform the healthcare system. They do this with such speed, agility and precision. I still remember the day in my office when the phone call came from MOHT. Hey, I've got this idea. Uh, would you like to come on board? To the point that the project was publicly launched, that took a span of two months. Never really in my public sector life had I seen a project from conception to launch in that kind of time frame. It is not the size of the team. Right? It is the people that matter. It really was a, a journey and partnership together. We went back and forth, they took our ideas, we took their ideas. What was most memorable is how quickly we, we gelled with the MOHT team. And when we faced challenges, we were really able to come together and overcome those. Other countries are facing similar challenges with an aging population, growing chronic disease burden. So whatever insights that we gain in these models of care would certainly be applicable to other countries. Keep being the catalyst that the clinicians need, keep pushing the envelope, challenge what can or cannot be done, and work with the clinicians really to drive the change that's necessary. When you are working with a passionate and attentive team for the benefits and potential of a project, it is simply fun and enjoyable. Changes often very difficult, perhaps more so in the healthcare system than in other areas. But we are very grateful that we have many partners who embrace this change and share our vision for healthcare transformation for the future. We need to do this in order to make sure that our health system will continue to serve Singapore well, to improve the outcomes for our patients, improve the lives of people in Singapore and beyond, now 
and hopefully far into the future.